What up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. I'm Anthony TV. And look, before we get into today's video, I need you guys to do me a favor. You already know I need you to hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel and drop a comment if you got some comments. You already know I appreciate your support. All right, guys, real quick. Um, yesterday, I had an interesting uh, comment on the video I posted. Um, somebody asked me a question. They asked me, why don't they see any pallets on my trailer, right? And so some of you guys may have noticed by watching the videos, uh, my cases aren't on pallets for the most part. Occasionally, um, I'll have a stop um, on the pallets, which is actually my first stop. My first stop is a hospital. So occasionally I'll have my dry and cooler on the pallet for my first stop, which I really like because I just pull those off and um, you know take them where they need to go. Um, I do have to put the freeze on pallets myself, obviously. I can't get through the bulkhead doors that early being that it is my first stop so i do have to make that pallet myself but it's nice to have the cool and dry already on pallets i just pull it off but other than that um everything else is pretty much floor loaded in my trailer and at my location you know our trailers are for the most part floor loaded right um our cases aren't on pallets um i actually used to have my whole route palletized and um, I had it like that for a couple months. And then it just got to the point to where I was finding myself having to deal for cases a lot of time and just kind of, you know, wasting time looking for cases and stuff like that. Because for those that don't know, um, you know, if you got your route palletized, which the majority of the food service companies have their routes palletized, even us at GFS, you know, um, you know, especially at different locations, they have their uh, routes palletized. Um, so we do have guys that have their routes palletized as well at other locations and stuff like that. Um, but like I said, my location, we pretty much uh, got floor loaded trailers. Um, but back to what I was saying about me having my route palletized, I did it for a couple months, and like I said, I start finding myself having to dip for cases a lot of times. So, you know, everybody knows the food service guys. When you got to dip for cases, you know what I mean. Um, you you waste time and stuff like that. You know, when you got you may be at your first stop, but you got your third stop on top of your first stop, and so you got to break down the pallet to grab cases and stuff. And it just you know it it just wastes a lot of time. So, um, after about two months of doing that. I asked my ATM, I'm like, hey, can you change it back to uh, to floor load? Man, I love floor loaded way better than I love the route palletized for two reasons, two main reasons. Um, number one, it's so much easier to just to run cases. Um, you don't have to look for you know cases you i rarely have to deal for cases when it's floor loaded and shout out to the douglasville georgia location shout out to the selectors there i can't speak for all the gfs drivers um but my route when i get my trailers for the most part the majority of the time my trailer is loaded pretty good so thank you guys if i got any um gfs selectors or warehouse people watching my video watching this video i appreciate you guys you guys do a good job loading my trailer for the most part every now and then i may have some issues here and there you know it may have some dry in the cooler uh you know a, a couple cases um or vice versa it may have a case a cooler case in the dry section you know something like that um you know it's 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 minor stuff for the most part um but the majority of the time my stops are in order obviously in sequence and all my cases that I need is right in front of me. I just grab and go. I don't have to worry about, you know, breaking shrink wrap up, digging through cases, 
pushing cases to the side to get to certain cases. It's just time consuming uh, when you got to palletize, when your whole route is just palletized, your whole trailer, in my opinion. Um, but so that's number one reason why I like it floor loaded is because I don't have to dig for any cases. The second reason is because I don't have to stack any pallets at the end of the day. You know what I mean? When you got a palletized trailer at the end of the day, you know, everybody know you got to stack your pallets up and all that. It's just extra work that you really don't have to deal with when you got a floor loaded trailer. So those are the two main reasons why I like floor loaded trailers better. Y'all let me know in the comments though. That's the questions for today. Do you like floor loaded trailers better or palletized trailers? Now, if you've never had a floor loaded trailer, I'm sorry, trailer, then you probably haven't experienced it. Um, so you probably won't be able to answer that question, but for my food service guys who had to deal with both a floor loaded trailer and a palletized trailer, let me know what you think. What's your thoughts? Let me know in the comments, which one do you prefer? Which one you like better and why? Like I said, my reasons is because it's much easier for me just to grab the cases in front of me and run, um, go down the ramp and, you know, make the delivery, not having to dig through cases you know, break shrink wrap, all that type of stuff. You don't have to deal with that when it's floor loaded, right? Um, or have to deal with pallets, cases falling over and all that type of stuff. I just, you know, to me, man, I just, I just think it's better. And like I said, in my opinion, that's my preference, floor loaded all day long. Um, so like I said, if you've had to deal with both, um, let me know in the comments, which one do you prefer? Uh, also, um, I'll be on vacation, not next week. Well, yeah, technically next week. When I get off Friday next week, I'm pretty much on vacation at that point. So I may or may not make any videos on my own vacation. I'm not sure. I probably will just because, you know, sometimes I get bored. But, you know, I'll be on vacation, so I'm really just going to be chilling. But um, so I'm excited about that. And also, like... My daughter is graduating, man, high school um, in less than 20 days. Um, so I'm super excited about that, man. I do have an 18 year old daughter uh, for you guys. I know you don't know that, now you do. I have an 18 year old daughter that's graduating. Um, like I said, in less than 20 days. So I'm super proud of her, I'm happy about that. And I don't know, man, I'm getting older, man. <laughs> I'm 39 years old. I'll be 40 in six months, man. So, you know, and the, the the new gray hairs that come on my beard, you know, they, they remind me that I'm getting older, right? Every day. But, you know, it's a blessing, man. It's a blessing to get older. It means you're still living and hopefully you're getting smarter as you as you grow older. So I embrace the older um, age, getting older. I love it, man. It's a blessing to be here. And, um, I just pray I can continue, you know, growing old, man. And definitely, uh, you know, being able to see my daughter get older and have a family and things of that nature, man. You know, I just pray that I'm around to see all of that. But um, anyway, man, I just wanted to get y'all heads up about the vacation thing. Um, you know, like I said, I may or may not post videos while I'm on vacation. I'm not sure yet. But I just wanted to give y'all a heads up. So, yeah, guys, let me know again in the comments. What do you prefer, floor loaded or palletized trailer? Again, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe to the channel, like this video, and drop a comment if you got any comments. And guys, I'll holler at you later. Have a good weekend. It's TGIF. Peace.